Hey Great Dramas, today I'm having a very quick look at our blended cast series, batch number two. Um, we released our very first blend for Christmas, you may remember our Christmas 2019 blend, and that went down an absolute storm. Uh, we actually sold out uh, within nine days of the official launch, which is incredible, absolutely incredible. Um, and not all our launches are like that, so thanks guys. Um, this one, our blended car series, batch number two, um, bottled at 46.2 ABV and only 250 bottles ever made. It's actually a seven-year-old this time and what we've done is thought of the power of three for no particular reason, apart from using casks from three different distilleries, three different cask types and what was the other one? I can't remember now. Oh yes, only three components. There you go. So. You have the three components from the three distilleries in three different cast types. That's what I should have said. Um, so we actually have in here an 11 year old ex bourbon cast from the Glen Murray distillery uh, as one of the single malt components, a 13 year old um, cast from the North British distillery, uh, which is the only grain component within it, and a seven year old first fill Ruby Port wine barrique from the Knock Dew distillery in Speyside. And so for us, um, this is quite quite special. You don't often hear of a blend made up of one grain and two uh, single malt components, um, but I wanted to do it. And having gone through lots of piloting, I think with this one, I took 23 different mash bills or recipes or whatever you want to call it, um, to get to the one where I thought, yes, I would buy a case of that myself. And if you look at it, can't really tell it's not the greatest light in the world but it's actually been given a rather nice rosé colour owing to that port wine barrique from the Noctu distillery um, and as you can probably tell seven years old on the label although I read out one that's a component that's 13 years old one that's 11 and one that's seven by law you have to put the number or the age of the youngest component in any blend hence why it's a seven year old um, there you go so what for me, what was brilliant about that port wine barrique component was that it brought out a lovely dark chocolate and fruity note. Um, let's go in and see what, the, see what I'm getting from it this time. So on the nose, you instantly are getting that fruity note, really nice berry notes there, quite fresh, quite subtle as well. Quite a nice stewed apple note coming through too. These stewed pears as well. Mm. Anything I say is massively biased, but I want you to understand my exact experience. And for me, that is an easy drinking blend. It is one that gives you a nice little spice, a bit of a tingle on the tongue there. Um, not too much, but that's kind of warming. In fact, mostly on the finish. And in the mouth, it's got a nice kind of vanilla note, a nice rounded fruit note. That dark chocolate does come through, which is from the uh, the port cask. And you go back to the nose, it just gets fresher and fresher. Really, really nice. Mm. I mean, again, not for me to judge, it's for you to judge, hopefully nicely. Um, but that, for me, is a stunning, stunningly composed uh, whiskey. Really well balanced, really kind of well rounded, a nice mixture of freshness, creaminess, and of course, spiciness as well. But that is mostly on the finish. Um, and all the feedback we've had so far is how easy drinking it is. Um, so, that's a nice little win for us. There are only 250 bottles um, initially produced and there won't be any more made. So when they're gone, they truly are gone. Um, and there it is, our blended batch number two. Cheers, until next time.